So this morning I went for a jog and I was, you know, I've always liked jogging. It's, it's, it's nice. But the reason I like it so much, it builds a foundation. And I was thinking about how, you know, people who do martial arts and stuff, they'll always do road work, you know, boxers, wrestlers. And the reason they do road work is it's, it's like, not just the foundation, it's the basement of the house. So if you're building a house, the road work is the basement. It's something that kind of goes, kind of goes without saying, you know, you don't buy a house and look at, go in there and go, oh, I can't wait to see the basement. You know, you, you're looking at, you know, the facade and you're looking at the window thing, trimmings, and you're looking at all the um, stuff in it, but the basement's what matters, right? If you got a bad basement, you, you really doesn't matter what you what you're doing. And I think for our spiritual practice, that the meditation is the basement of the house, and it's everything is built upon it on the spiritual level. And I one thing I like about Sahaj Marg is, you know, Kamlesh he talks about, um, you know, when you're meditating you know, to ask God, you know, I want to know you. I want to know who you are. You know, I want to be, I want, I want, I want to know you more. I want to know you better. And, um, also to love God. And I, I never, you know, one thing about meditation, I can say I'm something of an expert on it because I did transcendental meditation for 30 years before I learned the Sahaj Marg, and I think had I not done that, I wouldn't have understood um, the the difference. Uh, you know, people that just say, "Oh, just meditate," you should meditate. Meditation itself, without the transmission, is something completely different. And I know from personal experience, I've done it. Like I said, I did TM for thirty years, and I did the advanced TM. I went and, and learned the um, they call them the Cities program, and um, so I learned that quote-unquote advanced meditation and in no way did that make me an advanced person i think that when you receive the transmission it's a whole different thing you're you're receiving direct line of uh you're you're receiving love but it's it's not that we're not receiving love anyway we're receiving love all the time but when i did when i did tm i always wanted to get something i was always trying to get something i was you know, hoping for some experience or I was hoping for um, enlightenment, quote unquote. And it was like, uh, it was like chasing your tail. It was like you had a carrot in front of you and you're chasing that carrot. You're running after that carrot. It just made me more miserable, actually, because I felt like I was more of a failure because I, I wasn't having these breakthroughs and these, you know, I wasn't feeling love is what it really came down to. I was feeling no love. And when I started Sahaj Marg, I mean, you can feel it in your heart. You feel the love. I mean, there's no question about it. Every day when I do it, I, I actually just talking about it right now. I can feel the heart center. My heart center feels the love. I can feel it like opening up and, and tingling and, and being, becoming more expanded. And what I've noticed is that's the, that's the foundation, right? That's where we begin. We begin the journey by receiving love. When we're little children, we begin the journey by receiving. Everything is about receiving. You know, babies are just taking. They're taking in the attention. They're taking in the food. I mean, if they don't get immediate, um, if they don't get their needs met immediately, they're screaming and crying. And um, nothing's worse than a baby's cry, right? when you hear that cry you just want to you want to take care of that and um, take care of that baby and meet its needs change its diaper give it some food cuddle it whatever it needs well spiritually it's the same way when we first learn transmission we're just receiving we're just receiving this love it's just coming to us unabated i mean it's it's attenuated to what we need exactly that's the thing that's so amazing about it and um, I had an experience. I, I might share it. I don't know. I kind of shared it before and felt like it maybe overshared and um, caused me some anxiety. But um, when I first learned Sahaj Marg, and but 
what I've been experiencing lately isn't just, I'm not just, and Kamwish, he talks about this. He talks about doing this, not just receiving love, but giving love back. And when you get to a more, when you start to feel love, then you can start to give love back. It's like a little toddler um, when it runs to its mother and gives its mother a hug. It doesn't do it. Um, there's nothing, there's no strings attached, right? It's just pure love. The child just feels love for its mom or its dad and it comes over and gives you a hug. And it's the sweetest kind of hug you could get, right? Well, that's what this relationship with God becomes. It becomes this give, you're giving love back to God. You're not just receiving and taking, although that's okay. If that's the level you're at, that's perfectly wonderful. And this godly energy has no limitation. It can give you all you need. It will fill you all the way. It'll bring up things from the basement. You know, it'll bring up old past memories. It'll bring up old stuff. And it's just allowing us to gently process that stuff. I had an experience where when I was a kid, we had bought a puppy and a um, really beautiful dog. And my dad had taken him hunting with my, with my brother. And my dad accidentally shot the dog and killed him. It was a nightmare, right? I mean, I, I had forgotten about it. It was so traumatic. It's one of those things you just wanted to forget. And I was meditating one day and I just had the thought of that. It all came up in my mind and I just cried and cried and cried. it was gone. It was done. And then I just kind of forgot about it, but it was God's way of healing that wound. And if we keep pursuing this, um, this loving relationship with God, this gentle, loving relationship, we will heal from our old traumas. It doesn't seem possible on a mental level. We think, oh my God, how could I ever heal from these things? But this godly energy will find a way to soften that, remove it, and brush it away. And then when our true nature is revealed, you know, the true crystalline nature, our true beautiful, glorious, godly version of ourselves that's just waiting to be revealed, then then everything will be, you know, a communion with God. It becomes a joint venture. It, it isn't just about receiving. It isn't about co it's co-creating but it's more about communion it's not so much what can we create together it's how can we be together how can i be with you all the time i want to be with you all the time anyway my battery's running dead so i'll just end it there